Hey guys and gals, welcome to this week's pre-foreclosure daily grind. Uh, it's Chris the Drummer Bull, it's Bob LeChance. Hopefully everyone's having a uh, great day and great week. Anyway, we got some great tips here today, Chris. Oh, yeah. Always. Chris is all about <laughs> tips. Anyway, uh, we got one about HSBC. We have a uh, short sale acceptance letter, some inter interesting things on a short sale acceptance letter. Also, Chris has two uh, updates, stories, whatever you want about Equator and dealing with Bank of America. Yeah, so yeah, we haven't yeah, talked yeah. about them in a while, which is good. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, HSBC, um, we got a second mortgage acceptance. 10% uh, of their principal amount was accepted on what they owe, which is typically standard within HSBC whenever there's second mortgages. Right. Uh, we highlighted a couple things here. We just want to uh, break some of this stuff down. Um, in particular, this property, they accepted $5,000, and it says, Any surplus funds for the close of the sale shall be paid directly to HSBC Mortgage Services. Chris, you, you stated that it's standard for all these? Yeah, that verbiage, um, you know, we had run into an issue with this on a previous property, and I, I had a long conversation with a negotiator there, a senior guy who's been, around, he's been in the game for close to 10 years now, and we've worked with him on several other deals. He just said, listen, even if it's a second mortgage approval, it's it's standard because basically they send the same, essentially the same letter out, whether it's a first or a second mortgage. So a stock letter. Right. And okay. obviously if it's a first mortgage, then surplus funds would go to them. Yeah. So. And it's actually interesting. And this short sale acceptance letter, another thing we highlight says, in addition, the real estate commission shall not exceed 6%. Now that's interesting because it says 6%. Why is that interesting? Well, normally... Uh, pretty much every other one of these I've gotten, especially ones recently, normally uh, HSBC, even in the second position, cuts down the commission to 5%. Um, on this particular one, I actually dealt with a rep uh, for a country named uh, country <laughs> company uh, named Century Credit. And um, so I'm wondering if maybe that's off to do a little more digging on that, but that could be a reasoning for why. So maybe so. it's not handled by a, a debt collector is what you're saying? That's why they're, they're allowing 6%? Well, it was handled by oh, a different company, right. um, whereas if it's still in-house at HSBC, they normally cut it down to 5 So probably part of it, you know, has to do with their, they're getting a you know, decent This is still in so. research mode, so we'll let you yeah, know when we yeah, find yeah. that <laughs> out. But anyway, that was pretty interesting. Um, also... On the bottom here, it says, our customer agrees that upon the posting of the agreed upon short sale amount, the remaining loan balance, if any, will be charged off and no additional payment will be required. That's pretty cool. Very cool. We like that. Cool. Yeah. And it says, uh, please note, a $0 balance will, will appear on the customer's file with the credit bureau as account legally paid in full for less than the full balance. Which cool. is nice. A lot in, lot, you know, this is something that HFC, which is a, a branch of HSBC, uh, as well as obviously HSBC, this is something that they've started to do more recently. They're just looking to get, you know, more money if they can't close, but then they will settle them up. Also, expect a 1099 on that one. Yeah, well, better than a, better than its lawsuit. <laughs> That's right, exactly. But anyway, um, also, uh, Chris is going to get into the equator, but we just want to update you again on our last video last week. Uh, we did actually get a new BPO on that property when the REO agent ah, yes. tried to screw us. <laughs> so, Chris, what he did is he, he put together an email that the agent sent us, correct? Mm -hmm. And then forward that email right to the negotiator. Yep. Within a week, BPO done. It actually got done yesterday, I think, right? Today, actually. Or today. Yep. Yep. Nice. Late, late morning this Less morning. than a week. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. So yeah. anyway, cool. That's another update right there. So anyway, squeaky wheel gets the grease when you're yeah. when you're dealing with an REO agent that's trying or a BPO agent that's trying to screw you. That's also an REO agent. And props to Flagstar on that one because they they heeded that uh, little message there from the listing agent and and sat down for two seconds and considered that yes, this would in fact screw us over yeah. as well. So <laughs> cool. All right, Equator. Let's zip this along. I know we're uh, running we're, out of time. Running out of time. Yeah. Uh, Couple things on Equator. Uh, well, first off, just real quick, um, when you guys are sending messages to you know reps, normally we email negotiators or customer service reps through Equator or a team lead or whatever. Uh, two new contacts that are now in that list that uh, you can email directly: the BPO company, uh, which would be like the vendor, the company that actually hires the the uh, appraiser or BPO agent. So if you're squawking about a BPO agent, right, or evaluation, send it to them. Send it to them. Uh, second one is the centralized values uh, department, which would be the part of uh, B of A that uh, you know once the BPO then comes back, they're the ones that kind of review it to make sure everything looks on, is on the up and up. And if you're fighting the value, send it to them also. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, so we got everyone to fight here. This is yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's this week's tips of the week. Uh, 
Uh, also, check out FinerSolution.com. That's our CRM, our workspace that we use to send all of our email marketing. We give away 200 free email uh, emails per month. Pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. It's where we manage all of our websites, domains, contacts. We're going to be bringing in our real estate management tool, which is Prop Tracker, inside the system probably within two months. Yep. It's going to be pretty sweet. So it's all mm -hmm. management in one centralized spot. But anyway, Krista exactly. Drummer Bowles, Bob Lachance, getting back to this week's pre-foreclosure tip of the week.